Rebound. Okay, we're here on Rugby Rebound, my first episode. Um, the first segments of this video is what I like to call Beast of the Week. The Beast of the Week! Now Kingy rips it across. Hilgendorf out to Gerard. Oh! Smashed by Matu. He was certainly hit. Some well constructed play earlier on from the Rebels, but look at this one. Boom! It was almost a head and shoulder first, and I think the head might have collected Gerard at the same time. Yeah, it was on his chin, in fact. Well, he made a tackle earlier in the season. I think it was in Perth. Which was a real rib tingler. No, it's just the late change of the. Just no real penetration through the back. The division. Oh, same bloke. And he's picked it up, and there's another one nailed out. Gee whiz. Okay, here we go. Here comes the big hit. And it was just on the head. He's picked the ball up, driven on, and then once he's released the ball, Matu's just gone straight back to check on Lachlan Mitchell. Well, there's the first one. Boom, same direction. It's just the body angle he is firing forward as the player's coming at rate of knots too. And he's also come from just outside in, so the ball carrier doesn't get much opportunity to see him. Just if they turn their head around, he hits them. What a boost! And such a good sport. See, he's probably one of the nicest guys. He goes back, Puts him in the brace position, gets some more words, goes off to go smack another guy in the face. That's a classic Matu Matu. Now I want to show you the other one. No, they, they have, Clarky. They've been very competitive. Their set piece has always never been a talking point negatively. It's just what happens behind the scrum and the line out that tends to let them down with their possession. Backwards. Went backwards. So picked up now by Hoss. Oh the way they're finishing this game. Look at him taking the ball forward. It's a legitimate tackle. Arms and shoulders. But look at that. Point of contact on the chest. And Pop goes the wheeze. To Peter Grant. Immediately bouncing back and getting back on the board, the Sharks. <laughs> to take this kick off. Look at that. Up he goes. Over the top he goes. And there the beast has got him in an absolute... Gymnastics hold, puts him back down. Oh, that's just brilliant strength. And the winner is. Motu Motu! Sorry, Beast, that was really awesome, but this doesn't match the Nazi BAM of Machu Machu, I think. Awesome play, I mean, like, maybe Machu Machu can't do that, but then again, you can't tackle like that, so, my regrets. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is the try of the week, which is scored by Andrew Taylor, which is a whole team effort. Here's uh, Piranara, busting away Piranara. Oh, what a pass. Bateman, oh, magnificent. How about that? Andre Taylor. Out it, just taking every opportunity. He was in trouble here to start with, so slipped the first tackle. Knew he didn't quite have the pace. And look at the pass, brilliantly taken by Bateman. And this one, superbly picked up. Oh, how about this? This is the future of New Zealand rugby, JP. That's something to get excited about. Pedernada inside the Bateman and look at the skill of Andre Taylor. Fabulous season as Andre Taylor having. Just amazing. You get some of these players who have an ability to score tries on a regular basis that others won't. Andre Taylor seems to be one of those. Okay guys, you might be wondering why it's not candidates for this one. This one was just absolute clear when I mean that pass from Perinara to Bateman, then the skills from Andrew Taylor to pick up the ball and score the try. Yeah, that was just amazing. That was just really. I was watching that live and that one. Okay, here's the results from round 14 of Super Rugby 2012.
see you soon.